Hi, I'm Eric Wong. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Carver. Today we are at Rebel Sun Lighting and Grip. We're going to show you how to load the Fisher 10 dolly. First of all, we're going to take off some pieces on the dolly from a set in order to load it. And then the head. <laughs> And once all the accessories are removed, we want to make sure the boom is empty out with hydronics so that in the case of emergency or we've forgotten to uh, remove the lock, this boom is not going to be going up with all the gears on top of it. And then we'll go to the bottom, bottom floor. We will make sure we engage the lock function of the dolly and then we load it. I'd like to start with the uh, stepping platform that goes at the bottom here. And then I'll get uh, all the offsets and rise a bit and I'll put it right here by the transmission of the dolly. And be very careful not to pinch any hydraulic hoses or damage the sliding rods. I also grab the uh, can openers and put it roughly here. After that, I will grab the uh, serving boards and put it There you go. Next, I'll put the pork chop. Like that. And I'll also put the other chair on the boom. The two risers we got, I will put it right, right between the chairs and the uh, can openers so that the chair will just lay on top of it like that. After that, I will put the, uh, the low mode and also the regular head box on one side of the dolly, leave some gap between that and the serving board and I would put the uh, low board in between that gap. Just like that. Try to make it as tight as possible and I'll grab the offset. And put it here. And then I'll grab the rotation, rotating offset. Here. Next, I'll put the uh, high side board somewhere around here. I don't really push it in, try to be gentle with all the woods. And lastly, I put the accessory, which is all the ball heads and adapters and washers into this area between the rotating head and the chairs. It can be a tight fit, so go with the flow and be easy, it will fit. As long as you're gentle with it. And I'll just shove the 90 degree in between the rotating offset and the accessories back. And then I would do a visual rundown really quick, make sure there's no damage, it looks complete. Double check, your lock is engaged. This is not gonna go up and down. Brakes are engaged. And that, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.
。